Hey everyone, so I've just got back from pet shopping so I thought I would film a haul for you. So I went to Pets at Home, I bought quite a few different things in Pets at Home actually. Um, I got a few things from Jollies and then I went to B&M and obviously just stocked up on my basic essentials from B&M. But yeah, let's go ahead and show you what I got. I did spend quite a bit so hopefully I remember all the prices. So starting off with B&M first, you probably see this stuff all the time in my hauls because I buy it literally every time I go to B&M because the pets just love them. But I picked up two more of the flower forage bars. These are the bunnies and piggies favourite treats and I don't mind buying these because they are super cheap and you can split it up into like little sections so that you could just snap a bit off and feed them just a little chunk at a time. Um, they just look amazing. The quality of these are really, really good. And they're only £1.50 each. So I just split off a section for each animal. And they'll get that like maybe once or twice a week alongside their fruits and veggies. I then got two more of these crinkle cat bags. I buy these all the time. The bunnies absolutely love them. The piggies absolutely love them. But I need spare ones because the piggies keep peeing in theirs. And obviously I have to take it out and clean it and then wait for it to dry and... The guinea pigs just get a bit grumpy when I take them away. So I thought if I just buy a couple more, then when I'm cleaning one, I can put one back in the cages. So we've got this mint green coloured and then we've got this like salmon coloured one. Two pounds each. Again, can't argue with that at all. Um, some more hay cookies because all of the animals love hay cookies. Even the hamsters have a little nibble at them. The gerbil just shreds it up and adds it into his house. But these are high essential fibre, feed as a hay alternative and great for maintaining growing teeth. So I think you get about six big cookies in here, but they are like dead chunky. They're about that big a cookie. So I just split them in half um, just because of it's easier for me to just split them in half. But these are, again, an all time favourite with our animals. It's one kilo bag and these are £2.50. Again. Some more of the animals' favourite. This is just the Timothy Rich hay mixed with flowers. I buy this all the time. It is one of the main hays I feed alongside meadow hay and then ready grass and long stem grass. They get, oh, long stem hay, sorry. They get loads of different hays, but this is one of their favourites. So, again, really, really nice quality. Um, these are one ninety nine each. So, we got the mixed flowers. And then we also got the dandelion and marigold because... For some reason, these are these are just the favourites, but obviously it's got the forage mixed in. Um, and you can get these in bigger bags from other places, but because of it's like the Burgess brand, you're paying like £6 a bag for probably something a little bit bigger. But that is everything we got from B&M. Now I'm going to move on to what I got from Jolly's. So from Jolly's, I just got some new treats for the small animals to try. I've been wanting to try these for a little while, but I've just never really picked them up, to be honest. And they've got them on a three for two offer at the moment. So obviously you buy three bags for the price of two. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get them. But we just got some of the springtime snacks. These are in lemon balm and elderflower. Then we got the fruity feasts in banana and blueberry. And then we got the Herbie Hearts with mixed herbs and apple. They were supposed to be £1.99 each. So for all three bags, I got them for £3.98 because they were on the introductory offer, which I think is really, really good. So we'll see how they get on with them. And obviously, I had to buy them all a chew toy. So we've got one for Bugs, one for Thumper, one for Piglet and Winnie, and then one for Eat or and Tigger. So... I have to buy all of them the same thing because I'm a bit weird like that. I can't buy one without the other. So I just bought them all a banana leaf carrot stuffer. These were £3.79 each. I've seen them in loads of places before and I keep picking them up in work and then I keep putting them back and I just put them in my basket and I was like, right, I'm getting them this week. So we got four of those. Don't know how long they'll last. I think the bunnies are going to absolutely destroy them, but that's what they're there for. It keeps their teeth nice and healthy and it keeps them occupied for a little bit. I then got some treats for the dogs because, you know, the dogs always need treats. They mainly get carrots and veg and stuff like all the other animals, but these are like a little bit of a different treat. 
a little bit natural. So these are just the chicken wings. I always buy the Anko brand. I love the Anko brand. Their stuff is so, so good for the dogs. Um, but we got some chicken wings this time because I've still got quite a few bits and bobs in the house already. But these were £3.39 and you do get loads and loads in there. So that'll last them quite a while. Then next I picked up just some live food for the bearded dragons. There's like sawdust on my bed. Great. Um... So I needed just a little top up of live food just because I've got tons in the house from my previous order because obviously the weather changing and stuff, the beard dragons haven't been eating as great. But I just needed a top up of live locusts. Um, so we just got three boxes of large and then I got one box of waxies because we're trying to fatten up one of the geckos because he escaped and he ended up around the house for three months. And I thought he was a goner, but we found him. So now we're trying to fatten him back up because he's a little bit skinny. But for four boxes of this, it was $7.25. So can't really go wrong with that. It is one of the cheaper places I've seen live food. And then for the crested geckos, I bought some of this. So they are due a clean out soon. Um, and I wanted to change up their tanks a little bit. So obviously crested geckos need quite a high humidity. Um, so I thought... I try adding some of this into the bottom of the tanks because I feel like this will help quite a lot. The bedding I've got at the minute, it works a little bit, but I want to raise the humidity a little bit more. So I just got this packet of bark chips. So it is coarse grade. Um, so obviously, use of species that require a humid environment, amphibian, wood, woodland or jungle reptiles or invertebrates all thrive on this and it's a 100% natural product. So this is just by the brand Pro Rep. I love their products. Um, this is just a 10 litre bag and this was 7 .99. So obviously I'm going to mix it in with the bedding they've got already and then just give it a good spray down and hopefully that will raise the humidity in their tanks and they might be a little bit happier. So yeah, that is everything I got from Jolly's. Now let's move on to pets at home. So from pets at home, let's start off with the reptile things. I've been after these wet rock hides for a little while. I've already got one, but I wanted a couple more for the geckos. But the medium one is for the crestie. That was $7.99, I believe. And then the large ones were £11.79 each. I've been after these for ages. They um, keep humidity quite high inside the little hideaway. Um, and then all I got was basically just enrichment and chew toys for the small animals. I got three of these small woodland grass houses. They've got a bit of a sale on at the moment with small animal products. So that's quite nice. But these were £1.60 each. So obviously we've got one for cinnamon, one for noodle, one for buddy. So that's the hamsters done because they've got a box full of enrichment toys i didn't really need anything more for them but i couldn't not buy them anything because i felt mean because i was getting the other animal something i'm super soft when it comes to stuff like that like i have to buy everyone something um i then got these things which i haven't seen in ages i didn't think they still made them but i used to always buy these um so it's just a tug and gnaw so obviously little wooden block and then just your rope in the middle. So obviously one each for the pigs, one each for the buns. Got four of those. They were a pound each. Can't really go wrong. Cheap and cheerful. I'm sure they'll absolutely love them. Um, these little dinosaur chews that my little boy chose. So when we got um, Eat or from Pets at Home a month ago, I did buy some little wood chews there and then. Um, but the piggies have these wood chews, but of course we didn't get the bunnies any. So we just got one each for Bugs and Thumper. Don't know who's getting what colour. I'll let my little boy choose because he's normally the one that makes those decisions. But they were also a pound each. And then my little boy chose these as well because we bought the bunnies these last time and we didn't buy the piggies any. So again, we had to buy four more. Again, a pound each, but it is just these little... Carrot gnaws. I believe this is edible wood they're made out of. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, they were a pound each. Bunnies, absolutely loved them last time. They demolished them straight away. So I've got four more of those. And then I got two of these cute little things. These are 
the woodland treat baskets. Bought these for the bunnies because they only had two left. So I had to buy two. Um, and I probably will go and get some more. But I thought these were super cute. And these are only £4. But in these, you get banana leaf, seagrass, coconut husk and loofah chew. So for four quid, I mean, that's actually pretty good for pets at home. Um, like I say, these are the bunnies. I'll probably go and buy some more for the piggies eventually, but I'm not going to end up going to pets at home for at least another month until I get paid again because I'm skint. But how cute are they? They're just adorable. I really like them. And then the last thing from pets at home was these. Again, they only had two, so I just bought the two. But these are for the bunnies. Because the piggies have got the trio of fun balls. And I feel that like a trio of fun balls are a better size for the piggies because they're smaller. Whereas the bunnies, I feel like this is a better size for them because they are large. Um, but this is just the large reed ball. And these were £3.20 each. So I could have got a packet of trio of fun balls for obviously three different ones for £3.20. But the bunnies just chew through them straight away. So I thought I'll get these. These are a nice size for them. Obviously, that's my hand. It's basically the same size as my hand. So I figured that was a perfect size for them. So they were £3.20 each. And that is everything I got from Pets at Home. I have one more thing which I got from the pound shop, which I'll show you now. So the last thing I picked up, you might have seen these in my previous haul. But it is just two more of the dog treat balls. But these are for the bunnies. So I've had these previously. The bunnies still use them regularly. But Thumper has been getting a little bit annoyed with his. And he started scraping his teeth across the edge of it and biting this hole and making it bigger. Because he just he gets really annoyed with toys really, really easily. He doesn't have the patience to sit there and roll it around and wait for the food to fall out. But they have lasted them probably a good six months. So I can't really moan at that. Um, but I wanted to get some more whilst they had them in stock. So that I could obviously start introducing different treats to them. Um, I normally just put their nuggets in here. Um, because it is a good size, but I just felt like I needed some more just to spend more money that I probably didn't need to spend. But these are only £2 each and they are literally like, they're solid. I can't squish them. So that's why I absolutely love them for the buns because they're not that soft material that you normally get with like treat toys. So this does last them quite a while. And at two quid, you can't really go wrong. So for everything you have seen in this video, it comes to £113.27. Which isn't too bad. Um, it was stuff I needed and it's stuff that I've been meaning to buy for a little while and I just haven't got around to. So animals are happy. There isn't no point in having them if you're not going to spoil them. That's what I always say. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for the support. Take care and we shall see you all again soon. Bye!